everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and uh, <laughs> I look a little different. Um, <laughs> today we are doing a fortune teller inspired kind of Halloween thing that it put together. <laughs> I wanted to do a little bit of glamour, a little bit of grunge. This has been done quite a few times but I wanted to do it myself. So here I am. <laughs> I had already attempted to film this and I absolutely hated it the first time around. <laughs> but I'm glad I persevered and I attempted it again because I actually quite like the way this has turned out now with all the jewellery and all, like the headscarf which is just like a random piece of fabric that I found in my house. <laughs> I feel like the look kind of all came together. I really love this purple colour and I'm glad that I could kind of wear it and like incorporate it. I kind of feel like Esmeralda vibes if you know what I mean. But yeah, I quite like the way this look has turned out and even this wig. I had some trouble <laughs> with this wig. Uh, and I'm getting a bit of flashbacks because I used to have black hair and now I remember why I don't have black hair again. <laughs> I got this wig off Amazon. Um, I'll link it down below if you're interested. But yeah, I'm gonna stop blabbing. We're gonna mosey on through to the tutorial. This is a voiceover because I didn't know how it was gonna turn out and I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> if you are now just stopping by and you're new to the channel, I hope you decide to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button and the bell button and that'll notify you when I upload. I mean, if you clicked on a video where I looked like this, uh, <laughs> I hope it hasn't put you off, but I don't know, maybe this is your thing. Maybe you like this kind of makeup. I mean, I like this makeup, but I don't know. I'm delirious at this point. It's very late. I've been filming for like five hours. So uh, yeah, let's just do it. let's just move right along. Uh, subscribe if you wanna. <laughs> okay. So first, to starting off with a base, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of priming. It's not a necessity to, but I just decided to to fill in my skin. I'm using the Elf Poreless Putty Primer, and I'm just putting in the poorest areas of my face. Now onto foundation. I'm using the Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution. This is just a easy, full coverage foundation that is just gonna give me a real good blank pasty canvas that I need. <laughs> Now moving on to concealer, I'm using the Barry M All Night Long Concealer in the shade 1 Milk. I'm just applying this in a triangle shape and blending it out with my sponge. And I'm also going to take the excess and put it over my eyelids as like a primer. And I'm taking it all the way up to the brow as well. Oh, I'm just using the excess to kind of highlight the midpoint of my face also. Now I'm taking my soap and doing a little bit of soap brows. I'm kind of making them kind of messy, just a little bit un untamed, you know. I'm not making them too perfect or anything. And then once I've done that, I'm going to be moving on. I'm just going to leave them dry. And here's me trying to figure out what to do next. <laughs> moving on to the eyes, I'm going to use the Me, Myself, um, Mama, Mama Mitchell palette. First going in with a shade called Motto, which is the deep purple. I'm starting to concentrate that on the outside of my lid and then I'm using the brush to really fluff it up towards the brow. I really want to take this totally up to the brow. I want this to be quite a blown out look. I'm also doing the same on the inner corner. Again, letting the brush kind of do the work for me with the blending. And I'm just going to do the same on the other eye, obviously. <laughs> we want the most concentrated color on the lid. Then I'm taking the navy colour which is called Moody Mitch and I'm going to concentrate this slightly closer to the centre of my lid but we're still working in the outer thirds. I just kind of added it on top of that purple and I'm deepening the outer areas and then I'm just going back on in with my big blending brush and doing exactly the same. We're just kind of layering the colours to add more depth. I'm just building and blending until I've got the colour to the pigment that I want and the intensity that I like. If you've got hooded lids like I do, make sure that you are relaxing your eyes to check that the lines in the middle are kind of even. And then I'm just taking the big fluffy brush and just blending all over the lids so we've got a blend going on. Now I'm taking the NYX Glitter Base and I'm going to go in with the shade Mega. The reason I use the Glitter Base is because this shadow can be a little bit crumbly and a little bit fussy. <laughs> it can be a little bit hard to use so I use that as a base to help it adhere to my eye and again we're just following the upward motion towards the brow but I'm working this more towards the center 
and also layering it over that navy colour so we get a nice blend. This is one of the prettiest colours in the palette, I really do love it. It just can be a little bit of a problematic shade because it's creamy and crumbly at the same time. <laughs> so now I've kind of like created this line in the centre, it's time to go in with the kind of piece de resistance <laughs> if you if you please um which is this gold called i think it's called melted is that what's called yeah called melted and i'm just making a pretty much straight line throughout the whole of the lid this is like our spotlight eye and yeah i'm just bringing it right up to the brow and actually I do go past the brow and I create kind of like a little peak on top if you can see. <laughs> I don't know, I just wanted to take it a little bit further. And now head in over to the lower lash line, I'm going on the outer and inner corner with the navy shade again and then just kind of blending it slightly in the middle. And then we're taking the purple shade and kind of tucking that underneath the lash line a little bit more than the navy. I kind of spread out the navy all under my under eyes and then I just went straight in with the melted shade and created kind of like fake tears coming down my face. Now I'm just going to tight line with this Kiko pencil, it's the Jelly Jungle pencil in the shade 4 which is just black. I'm doing my tight line and my waterline to get that kind of grungy effect. Now for the face again, I'm going in with this shade which is called Meh in the palette and I'm using this to create kind of like a contour or shadow. So you can see I'm using this in the cheekbones and then I'm kind of bringing it in the kind of jowl area. The way I like to do this is I kind of feel with the brush where my teeth are and kind of bring it down towards my chin and it just creates a slightly more kind of gaunt facial structure kind of. I I don't know. <laughs> and then I also take it underneath my jawline. I do my temples and also my forehead. Just kind of want to make yourself look a little bit more sunken in. It's very hard when you've got such a plump face. Um, <laughs> but you know, we all gotta try. <laughs> Deepen this up a little, I'm going in with the colour Monday which is kind of like a cool tone brown and I'm just really concentrating that with like a little fluffy crease brush and just applying it to the hollows and once I've kind of got that placed down in the area that I want to I just go in with my fluffy brush again and I just blend over the top with the excess of the Meh colour. I'm just taking the excess as well and kind of contouring the nose a little bit and around the mouth. And I do the same with the Monday colour around the mouth as well because I want to make my lips look kind of juicy, also kind of dirty at the same time. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to fill in my brows a little bit so I'm using Browsings by Benefit in the shade 3. Just literally adding some hair strokes with a little angled brush, doing it messily, just fluffing it through the brows just to bring some more colour into them and a little bit more of definition. Now on to lips, I'm going in with MAC Smoked Purple which is exactly what it says on the tin, it's a smoky purple <laughs> and I'm first of all just using the bullet to line my lips, my top and bottom and then I'm just gonna fill them in with the bullet. I feel like this colour really kind of ties into the grungy eyes that we've got going on. Because this is kind of like an ashy purple I then decided to add in some warmth with this MAC Rebel. Um, it didn't really make that much difference to be honest <laughs> but I just added into the inner part of my lips. Now for blush I'm going in with the colour Motto and as you can see it's very very pigmented so I padded off a lot on the back of my hand and I'm just lightly applying this to my cheeks and kind of blending it back into the contour. I wanted it to complement the eyeshadow and bring out the purples so that's why I went in with the shade and I just blended and blended until my heart's content <laughs> and then I felt I went a little bit overboard so I just went back over with my foundation brush and just blended it a little bit more. Now for mascara I'm going in with the L'Oreal Bambi Eye False Lash Mascara, just doing top and bottom lashes. We are going to be adding falsies. I use the Tati TL4 for that. I almost forgot, so <laughs> now it's time for a little bit of highlight. I'm going to be using the Rachel Loves palette collaboration with Pixie, and I'm just going to go in with the shade Clutch, which is the light champagne kind of gold. And I'm just highlighting, you know, the usual areas, the high points. Now it's the fun part, we're going to add some gems. I just kind of tapered these guys out, starting from largest in the center, and then kind of spreading them out to some smaller ones, and then I added little tiny ones to kind of create like a 
star thing in the center. I don't know. Now I'm just gonna put on some lashes. Again, these are the Tarte TL4. And now it's time for the transformation, guys. <laughs> I need to sort the hair out and here is the wig. <laughs> so I changed into this top, which is like an off the shoulder kind of gypsy style, traveler style. I don't offend anybody. <laughs> and it's from Nasty Gal. And now it's time for accessories. I just found this random purple material that I thought went perfectly with my top and it's got like sparkles all over it. And yeah, I just tied it at the back and just kind of fiddled with it a little bit till I was happy with it. And then I added accessories. You can go crazy with the accessories. I just added these kind of moon and star earrings and a choker. And then also I had this star and moon necklace, which I I decided to clip into the bandana and then finally added a little bit of highlight on the body and that's the finished look. So yeah, here is your glamorous kind of fortune teller. How cool is this thing? I got this from HomeSense, like mist up inside. It's the most magical thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Looks like clouds. It's so cool. Hold on, just one second. I forgot, I forgot something. <laughs> we need to add a inner corner highlight for this look. Just popping back in again. <laughs> I used Melted from the Mitchell palette and then I went over with my Pixie highlight on top. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little tutorial thing that I put together that took me about four hours to film really. <laughs> I think it's come together in the end. We had a little bit of struggle with this look, <laughs> but I do quite like the way it's come out. It's kind of like grungy, but also glam, kind of like mixed in together. And that's the kind of vibe that I wanted to go for. So I'm so glad I decided to do this one again. I hope you don't mind that it was a voiceover. I just didn't know how this look was gonna go. I'd already tried it once and failed. So I just wanted to sit down and play around and just like, you know, go through the motions with myself <laughs> without talking about what I was gonna do because I really didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, I think this look is kind of cool for Halloween and it's my take on kind of like a classic Halloween look. If you did enjoy this video and you want more Halloween kind of style makeup tutorials, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Hopefully this persuaded you to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button and the bell button next to it so you'll get notified of when I upload. I would love to have you here on my channel. This is just my creative space where I do stuff like this. Uh, <laughs> and I enjoy every minute of it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye guys. Bye.